Gaming is a type of entertainment, a source, a hobby that allows thousands of people with all ages spend their time for something they enjoy. Nevertheless, the idea like of gaming mostly taken as something negative for us, our children, closer ones or beloved ones. But what future of person do you imagine if he says that he loves to play in games? Most of us will think of this and this or even this. But how many of you will think of benefits, psychological happens, hobby or even a job? Personally, I love gaming. I love spending my time on learning, feeling, watching different stories from different universes that shows me that there is no limit in our imagination. I played a lot of games in my childhood. I played Counter-Strike 1.6, Minecraft, Warcraft 3, Skyrim and it's only few of them that's very rich with their stories and like fantastic universes. But and as many as uh, as you, I heard a lot about side effects of games from our parents and so on. Yes, I know about addiction, negative impacts of health and so on. Let's not forget that these impacts can appear only when person forgets about his duties and directs all his focus on only gaming. There are many significant researches that reveal that gaming is mostly give us neg negatively impacts. Luckily, for gamers, that's the results have been divisive. So how does gaming benefit us? First of all, when you think about benefits from gaming, of course you think about improving your coordination and multitasking skills. When you engage in a game, a player needs to coordinate the visual, audio and some physical movement all at the same time. For instance, just imagine some kind of action game, Counter-Strike, Doom, Minecraft, where you must like re uh, fastly react, counter-attack, all, all at once. You have to look at your health bar, you have to look at the skill bar and you have to press all your abilities all at the same time. You must look at your joysticks, you must like press that keys to fastly react. And uh, in reality there might be some situations, for example maybe a murderer, a killer approaching you with a knife. What you will do? I don't think mostly gamers can react for that, but in some case, when you improve your coordination, you can fastly react, counter-attack or even run away from that murder. That might be very helpful in your real life. Next is improving your concentration and problem-solving skills. Very good video games, some AAA games, they can retain the player's attention for a long time, harnessing their full concentration on achieving some some kind of certain objectives, like set it on whole the story of that game. Players' creative cognitive abilities are tested as they try to figure out different ways to solve the problems set out on a different levels in a different order. Player must choose to obtain some kind of results at the end. All like his uh, decisions have different impacts on the like game, on the like results. Of course that depends on is it like linear uh, story or not, but mostly some kind of games for example like Witcher 3 or maybe like uh, or maybe like Skyrim, there you may see some different stories. So, as in, re as in, in reality, the problem-solving skills might be very like, important, vital. In your, at your job, for example, when you must choose 
uh, or even at your education. For example, you are sitting on exam and you must choose some kind of like, you must solve some kind of problem. Some people, some students may have some like uh, courses uh, connected with some logical thinking and so on. Uh, this is place where your problem solving skills might be very useful. Next is enhancing brain speed and memory. Playing video games help enhance visual and audio memory. The player required to read, listen, some kind of instruction and all this provided to a player at the beginning of the game. Thus, you must remember, you need to then remind it during like passing this game story, you will like have some revisions for that. So while you're pressing that kind of keyboards, keys or joysticks, you like uh, chain your motion memory and uh, your memory itself. You will, uh, at some case, you may forgot about that, but you will develop, improve it, and, uh, for example, in comparison with simple people who just working all days, you will have some, like, you may stimulate faster than that kind of people. This frequency of repeating some kind of actions, of doing some kind of actions, this is good for stimulating your brain and your like motion memory of course at some case like chess or other games may have that kind of impact too but mostly people prefer something they enjoy to do or don't like things where they don't enjoy or something like that gaming is a great source of learning in recent years Many modern education institutions incorporate video games as a part of their teaching mythology. Most of these games enhance cognitive and creative skills as well as learning through a fun and entertaining format. As a very huge example for that, we can take Hamlin University. During the pandemic situation and uh, quarantine, one professor uh, used Minecraft to teach uh, the, his students and use that kind of entertaining format itself. I may be I may be a liar if I tell that students was like disappointed with that decision. And uh, mostly, gaming is a good inspiration for us. And personally, I myself, I find of a lot of like inspirations while uh, playing like games, fantasy games, and so on. I started to learn uh, something new. So, like I tried to do my own game. I tried to create some models, and uh, I'm still doing that kind of things. And I have some kind of like purpose or dream to create my own like universe or some kind of like game or who knows like film. So, as a result in reality, that might be like have very inspirational impact on, on simple people like myself who just love playing games. Because different stories, different like actions, different personalities always can like give us something new to learn, to enjoy and uh, to evolve. So next, gaming. I can say that improves, and mostly gaming improves our team playing, so like team player skills, like cooperate, cooperation player, like co-player as like as well as multiplayer online games, enable players to work together to achieve a common goal. With the shared objectives, the game encourages the people to forge a strong team, like using some kind of good communicational skills. This often results in the player developing meaningful relationships with each other beyond the screen. As a very huge example, we can take World of Warcraft or like Counter Strike, Dota, and uh, that kind of things, where the people like created a uh, guilds or like teams and uh, used it to like evolve, participate in different competitions, and now they even have some kind of maybe jobs money who knows 
all because of my team playing and because of these interesting games. Nevertheless, the gaming also has some kind of negative uh, impacts to people too. For example, prolonged gaming leads to an unhealthy lifestyle. Like gaming for prolonged prolonged hours without a break often leads to the player sitting in a chair inactively for long hours as they immerse themselves into the world of video games and forget about the reality. There may be some visual problems, like most video games require quite a long time to complete any particular game so like some kind of game like Star Wars gaming where you will see a different colors at the same time it might be like bad impacts on your eyes you might have some kind of backaches too like being seated at the same position for an hour this can cause some kind of stiffness or soreness due to like lack of movement you can you may have some migraine people who play a lot of video games for extended period without a break and just sit and only focus on gaming they will have a problem with eyesight and uh, headaches too the aggressive behavior and mental problems some like research already told about that but this for example this is not uh, something new you know, in these days and among players you know, among players who play like co-player, co-playing games, multiplayer games like Counter Strike and Dota, they, you might uh, like saw a lot of people with uh, who like very aggressive, who has some kind of aggressive approach to you and other teammates. These kind of people mostly like negatively impact on you. So children are at a higher risk of being affected if they are exposed to violent games since a young age. This could result in a more impulsive and aggressive behavior. But again, let's not forget this mostly depends on like how much do you play and how much like do you prefer to spend like time for gaming. As I said before, this is depends on you and only you. There is some kind of interesting sentence. Like, enough, it's enough. At the, at the same time, you must know the limits for something good. If you want to like have only uh, the positive impact, you must know the limitation for that. For example, even uh, some kind of like al alcohol or even a training has their own limitations. When you drink too much, you will have hangover and you will have some like side effects on your health. When you train too much, you may not gain muscles, you may just lose them. So in every situation, you must know the limits. And even that kind of like uh, positive things from gaming like inspiration and like other like positive sites, they can be very useful for you. But at the same, same place, you must know your limitations. But this, at the same time, let's not just uh, use, let's not just forget that gaming is not always the cause for different like uh, crimes or some kind of sorts of sad stories. Thanks for attention and that's all I have.